Hi, it's Sara here from Wizards Code. We had a look previously at how we could create a broad range of random characters and make them wander around. Everything in this scene here is open source. Check the video linked above to see how we created the characters here. In this video, I'm going to do something I promised to do there, which was show some more clothing that's available. This clothing pack actually happens to be in sale as I'm making this video right now. It's normally $50, but right now it's $25. But even at $50, it's good value. It allows you to make a massive variety of characters. I also promised to show how you can save the setup of a character so that you can reload the same one over and over again. So we're going to cover that in this video too. Let's get going. Okay, here we are inside of the example scene for the clothing pack. Let's play the scene and see what we get. I've put a fly cam script on the camera so that I can take a good look around these uh, models. And let's have a look at the blokes first. A nice long coat there. Quite detailed texture on there. That's not bad at all. kind of like the stitching there um, it's a bit obvious but I think that's in the style the animation it's hard to see because they're not walking around we'll have a look at that in a few moments but it looks okay and again not not bad textures on here they look pretty good um, you're never going to be getting in really close to them in, in a game uh, almost like this guy's made for COVID. Uh, I am, of course, recording this during the COVID situation in 2020. And we're all wearing masks. And the cool dudes are wearing these kinds of masks. So, yeah, these look pretty good. Another long coat. The coat does seem to be moving okay with the legs. I'm going to have a look at one of those with a walking animation, I think, shortly. Talking of shorts, there is some shorts. Now the collar looks a bit weird on this one. It's cutting into his neck a bit there. So that can be adjusted, but but I don't want to have to adjust them. I want them to just work. Uh, but the shirt itself is pretty good. I just think that collar is just a bit weird all around. Nice. I was going to say baggy pants, but then they've got this weird ankle thing going on. There's a good range of shoes by the looks of it. That's something the default Uma clothing does not give you. It does not give you a range of shoes. That's a kind of weird hoodie. Not sure I like that. It's cutting in a bit at the bottom here. Again, that can be fixed. That's fighting between the... Uh, the, the top and the pants so put it with different pants or have it go over that section pull out the vertices a bit it'll work just fine but I wouldn't want to have to do that with too many of these it's pretty dirty that hoodie isn't it I guess that's why it's not fitting is it is it supposed to be like a scruffy hoodie I think it might be yeah Okay, leather jackets again. That one's a kind of weird jacket. It's kind of like a... It's got insulation on it. It's a warm jacket. And some suits. Now, these collars look better here. Bit, bit vicious, the line of them, but not bad. You're not normally going to go in that close. Nice white suits. First suit I ever bought was a white suit. Never bought one since. Big mistake. Okay. Okay, I have a suit just like that upstairs. I don't think I've worn it for 20 years. Okay. Yep, these look pretty good. He's got some gloves here. Some fingerless gloves. No, they're not fingerless, are they? Why did I think they were fingerless? They're not fingerless. Okay. So that's all the men's stuff. These A lot of these are interchangeable, so any of these would go together. Um, the shoes are the same on each one. The suits, obviously, you're not going to want to interchange those, and it looks to me like the jacket and the shirt are part of the same thing. So I don't think you're going to be able to change the jacket with a different shirt, but I may be wrong. And shoes, they all look like they're the same shoe. White rather than black on this guy. Okay. 
and yep yeah, they all look good and then these i think that's why they're separated off these will work together though i don't see why these wouldn't work for the most part with those ones on that end okay so that's pretty good uh let's have a look at the women right so straight away i see this is using the default settings for the dna i don't really like those settings so when we come to look at how we save the clothing we'll also look at how we can save the files for the dna for now though let's just focus on the clothing again the uh the covid this was done in 2018 so i don't believe this was done for covid um that's actually the ear is just showing through so there's a few touches here and there that just disappoint a little but not many not many okay yep, some good variety here the skirt looks like it moves quite well on the on the uh, legs there Ooh, the bottom of this coat overlaps a bit strangely as she's moving around but again as a, as a background character you wouldn't see any of that as, as a foreground character you could do the work to stop that happening in a, in a modeling package if you wanted to so you know i'm not too worried about those given the price of the pack you could pay this much just for one decent set of clothing in many cases uh, it's 25 dollars right now 50 dollars normally some gloves again these ones are fingerless i think yeah those ones are fingerless okay oh more yeah and some sporty stuff and some tops okay so they look really good let's have a look to see what happens if we get them walking okay so let's make these characters run let's go into any one of them find the animation controller which is here and open that up okay so let's just make this a bit bigger it's really simple what we're doing but it would be helpful if we can see it uh okay so first of all we don't want to be have the idle animation anymore we just want them to run and that's it they will now run and do nothing else so let's bring this back down here and we can now put it on maximize on play and play so there are all our characters running let's have a look at some of these so that long coat kind of works okay it's it's sticking to the legs a fair bit but it works okay everybody else here looks all right let's have a look at this coat same thing as the other one there's a little bit of tearing here okay these look mostly pretty good. Yeah, this one's not so good here. The long shirt isn't isn't working well. Uh, where's his pants? <laughs> All right. Let's have a look over here. Yeah, that's not working too well. It's splitting a bit there. Those are okay. We've got some splits on the side of the pants there and there. These aren't looking so bad. Okay, that coat looks a little weird around there, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate on these shorter skirts here. Um, and that long skirt there, yeah, that's just not working at all, is it? Uh, okay, that one doesn't look too bad, although I think there's a little bit of tearing. Yeah, a little bit of tearing in this side there. So, do, and on this final one as well. Okay, so the men's seem to work pretty well, but the women's not so well. Uh, so that's something you want to watch. I would imagine in a walk animation, this won't be so bad, uh, but still something that needs to be watched. Nevertheless, there is a good range of clothes in here that don't give you any problems. So let's move on and look at how we can create a unique character with a combination of these clothes and then save it so that you can reload it after at a later time. Okay, so I've set up a quick scene for creating an Uma character. If you don't know how to do this, then take a look at my earlier video on creating your first 100 Umas. The link is up above. So let's get going with this one. Let's give this little fella some clothes. So all of the recipes are inside this Nasalis games folder 
clothing pack and then we'll drill down into the male wardrobes section and we can just drag on whatever we want so let's go with male baggy pants one and then we'll give him a hoodie which is probably that dirty one. Oh, yep it's the dirty one but it's in white at the moment and he's going to need some shoes uh, let's put boots on him and we won't give him any cl any clothes we're just giving him clothes so um we won't give him any gloves that's what i was thinking all right excellent so then we can go in and we can change the colors as you will remember from the previous videos we go into slots and we go for presumably shirt let's change the color of the shirt to red lovely and let's have a nice clashing green for the pants oh i didn't select the pants there we go trousers green there we go lovely perfectly matched colors so let's assume that we want to save this fella and be able to reuse him again because you'll remember if i press stop now we will lose this fella so what you do is there's a number of options you can do i always do it from the inspector over here but you do have things up in the uma menu as well but what you do is you go in and you say what you want your save path to be you have a bunch of options here you can put it in your persistent path data so that's on your machine and not dependent upon your actual project you can have resources which is a folder within your project a resources folder or you can have your file system which is anywhere on your file system so i'm going to go for resources and the save path is character recipes by default i'm going to leave it on that i'm going to give it a, a name so we'll call this one um i don't know he looks like a, he looks like a jack okay so we'll call him jack and he's got a um i guess he's got a jacket <laughs> jack in a jacket with jeans and are they boots i guess they are boots all right um and then we can click perform save and it has now saved those into our not sure why it's brought that up has now saved those into our resources folder. If I just collapse this lot down, we find our resources, and then we find our character recipes, and there is Jack, okay? So we need to copy that name just for convenience. We'll stop, and if I hit play again, you see he's lost his recipe. However, if I go in on here and say, I want to load from the resources folder, and I'll go with the character recipes, I'm going to have it load on start, hit play, and there you go. That's how you save your rumors. So let's create another rumor now, and let's have a female this time. Okay, let's go back into our Nasalis games, go into the female this time, and we can go in and find uh, a full suit. Drop that in there, and straight away we get a full business suit for her that looks pretty awful to be honest um there's a couple of reasons why it's awful and i mentioned this earlier on i do not like the rather unnatural default breast size so let's reduce that and then we go about setting up our wardrobe in the usual way just dragging in items from the available clothing to see what we like there we go all right and so now we can go in and we can go and select our resources folder and this can be jane long long coat and glasses and cap all right let's perform the save and then we can stop this i forgot to copy the name of that file so let's go into our resources folder get the name of the file and you can see it's just a text file it's actually a json file and um, we can go in and tell it to load that file on load hit play and not only will we get the 
clothing, but we'll also get the DNA that we changed so she has a more realistic body shape at this point. So there we go. That's how you save your setup for your Umas so that you can have the same Uma appearing each time. We've also taken a look at a set of clothing that you can buy for your free Uma uh, open source package. That clothing's pretty good. It's $25 at this moment in time in a sale, $50 normal price. I would say it's worth it at $50. You know, you've got a lot of variety here. You can make a lot of different characters. Not so sure about this fella. Maybe give him some pants. But other than that, mostly really good. A few problems with the animations on the women. Um, that can probably be sorted out with a little bit of work. Uh, especially on the kinds of animations that you're using. So, in the future, we'll look at some other wonderful features of Uma. Perhaps we'll take a look at how you can create new races. Okay, that's it for today. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you don't like what you're seeing. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Okay, that's it for today. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, let me know what you want to see, let me know if you don't like what you're seeing. Thanks a lot, see you soon.